Even with the election decided in favor of President Trump in both Kansas and Missouri, the national indecision is adding to uncertainty for some here in the metro. KCTV5's Leslie Aguilar joins us live on the Country Club Plaza where some businesses remain boarded up. So, Leslie, are people down there worried that the national outcome might still cause problems here in Kansas City? They are worried about it. We found a handful more of businesses boarding up today. More than a dozen of them have boards over their glass windows and doors. Meanwhile, happening right now down the block at Mill Creek Park, there is a group that is growing bigger. They are chanting count every vote and holding anti-Trump signs. Minka Jewelry is a family owned business with a storefront on the plaza for more than 30 years. They're boarding up for the second time this year. It's been very stressful. I just feel like what a year. Store manager Tu Tran says the store was looted back in June. Vandals were able to break the bullet resistant glass and steal some fine jewelry. Tran was worried last night about election unrest with her son helping her secure the windows today. I'll sleep better. <laughs> I will. She says Plaza Security sent a message out about the election rally happening today. In the off chance protests are not peaceful, she's taking precaution. It's something that you don't think that will happen in Kansas City. It's the same way you think that, you know, it's a third world country that elections happen and then, you know, chaos breaks out. And so you just don't think it happens in America. Other businesses are hiring <laughs> contractors to board them up. That's kind of sad. Brandon Scheib has gotten two calls today alone. Asked me if I have availability, if I can be there within four hours for an emergency call to board up a store. So that's the only difficult part about it because I got other jobs booked, so got to drop everything. Inside Classic Cup across the street, GM Jeff Brack is keeping a close eye on election returns. We're going to kind of play it by ear for this evening. We're not, with the results kind of coming how they are, we're not super concerned um, at this point, but Everything is fluid and could change. They still have the rock that broke one of their windows during protests this summer. The restaurant boarded up last night, but took them down this morning. They'll play it by ear whether they'll put them up again. A very stressful situation indeed for these businesses. They're going to keep an eye on those election results all night long. And of course, any possible unrest to follow. And you can count on us to do the same. Leslie Aguilar, KCTV 5 News. Hey, Leslie, these are businesses that have been boarded up. Have you seen anybody actually shopping down in the plaza today while you've been there? Yeah, I mean, it's a beautiful night. It was a beautiful afternoon. There have been plenty of people coming in here. This one that's actually boarded up, even their door is boarded, but they are open. Uh, they do have signs, not right here, but they do have signs around the building saying that they're open. People were going in and out, just talking about how sad it is to see the plaza like this, but it doesn't seem to have stopped people from coming out here. Okay, that is good news. All right, strange times indeed. Leslie, thank you.